Now we're going to be moving on to the scientific method. So you have a paper that looks like this, and this is how we're going to fold it. Do not glue it in yet. You are going to take the bottom corner underneath the three, and you're going to fold it up to where it has the dot right here, and it's going to touch the corner. So it's going to look like that. Then you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it down to make a triangle. So when you take it out, it looks like that. So go ahead and pause and do that and then come on back. Okay, I'm actually going to open this up and we're going to start at the first step. So the scientific method is the process the scientists use in order to do an experiment, okay? Which is one of our investigations. The first step is to observe, to look around you and to make an observation. Then you're going to ask a well-defined question. Investigations all start with a question about what you observe. Then you're going to write a testable hypothesis. Now remember a hypothesis is a guess. What do you think will happen? Can I test it? Then you're going to make a plan. How are you going to test it? What are the materials you need? What are the steps that you're going to do? Then you're going to do the actual experiment, which is the test. Then you're going to look at the data or the information that you collected, which is evidence. Then you're going to create a conclusion. What did you learn based on your data? What did your data tell you? Were you right or were you wrong? So that is our scientific method. We observe, we question, create a question about what we observe. We create a hypothesis, which is our question um, answered. What do we think the answer to the question is? Then we're going to make a plan on how we're going to test it. Then we actually test it. We collect data and draw a conclusion based on that data. If there's no logical explanation or the data does not explain anything, you have to go back and rewrite your hypothesis and try it again. You might have to test something different. Okay, the next one. Critical thinking. What is critical thinking? You need that when you're doing a science experiment. It's observing all parts before drawing a conclusion. So before you draw a conclusion, you're looking at all the data, everything that you learned, everything that you observed, and taking all of that into account before you draw a conclusion. The next thing is a hypothesis. As I mentioned before, it's an educated guess about what you think will happen. and it has to be testable. Can I test if I'm right or wrong? The next one, logical, expected to happen. These are some words that we need to know. An explanation is a reason, cause, or an answer. So we take our data, our information, and draw a conclusion to create an expl explanation. Ways that we can record our data are charts, graphs, tables, notes, pie charts. Ways to represent our data. Now what is data? Data is pieces of information, things that I collect. 
if I'm measuring what kind of soil can help a plant grow the fastest or the tallest, let's do the tallest. How will it affect, I'm coming up with a question. Will the kind of soil affect how tall a plant grows? Remember we talked about variables before? My independent variable that I wanna test is going to be the my kinds of soil. The data that I wanna collect, which is my dependent variable, is going to be how tall my plant grows. So that's the information I'm going to collect. A critique is to identify the problems and successes. Did something go wrong that didn't allow you to come up with data? Did something go right and you wanna try it again to see if you get the same answers? That is what a critique is. What would you do differently? What went really well? That is a critique. So that is our information on the scientific method. You're going to glue it where it says glue. So this part right here will be glued and you're going to fold it. So pause it right here and finish writing. And then you're gonna fold it in there. We're gonna think like a scientist. I also would like you to glue this in. We are going to be doing an experiment um, together as a group on a fun Friday, so this stays blank.